So the method it was known as a hunting dog. But also people are interested in how they can be as a family competitive. I think one must realize that a hunting or otherwise performance bred dog is a little bit different than your regular run of the mill dogs. They're much more eager to work and they will work if you find something to do. And you still have to challenge them mentally but also physically. They need to get their exercise, their mental stimulation. They need to be working. And working does not need to be hunting per se, but you need to be very active with them. If you do so, they can be happy pets. In my opinion, from the elite. Uh, hunting terrier breeds, and then I'm talking about the Jagd Terrier, the German hunting terrier that is, and the Petterdale, also known as Fell Terrier. Petterdale terriers are much more relaxed in home when they are given proper exercise. It does not mean that they be, can be very energetic and all the other stuff. You can see my other videos to get some examples of that. But they are a lot less prone to bark and also a lot more social than the Jack Terrier. There are also always exemptions. So one dog does not have to be the same as the other. But I'm talking about breeds in general. There's, there's social dogs that really like to be with their master and cuddle even or just uh, put their weight against you to know that uh, they like you and want to be there. They want to be close to you if possible. They will also protect you and are very alert to intruders or something else. Also, one must know that other pets, especially pets that they will see as prey, including cats, rabbits or rats or whatever. Rat sh shouldn't be a pet in my opinion. They will likely kill it. Okay, that was my uh, small introduction to the pet that was a companion dog.